What is going on you guys? Kika here back with another video and today is very exciting because I got home from work early and we are going to um, end up starting up the side by side and we are going to go for a trip around the block with it and see how it goes. So as you guys know it, recently we did the bed liner, the lift kit. Um, we were trying to figure out the light issue but we said screw that, uh, did the bed liner on the front, the undercarriage. Um, I put the seat on just for right now. I'm hesitant in putting the center console just in case I need to take it off. I should probably attach the hood. And uh, the thing that we're going to do today is take it for a test drive. And hopefully we will get to wiring um, the front LED bar that we're going to put on it since we have no lights. Jesus Christ. Zip that up. Got all the doors on except for the passenger seat because we're going to see how um, it drives first. In case we need to take everything off. But yeah, you guys, uh, first drive. Let's take it out for a spin and see how it goes. Oh, I got to put my glasses on, you guys. All right. I got my glasses on. It feels so weird. I was bleeding the brakes a little bit right now, too. Starts right up. Reverse. Parking brake off. Oh, Jesus. We almost ran over the stool. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, we're all good. Brakes are a little funky still, but we're gonna still go for you then. Door blew out. Neutral. A lot of smells, a lot of noises. And a lot of tire rubbing. Yeah, there was a lot of tire rubbing. So we definitely need some smaller tires. It sounds like the belt might end up having to do a belt change. I don't know if you guys heard all that racket. And it doesn't drive that fast. 
and it smells really bad but it could just be burning since that was the initial first drive I did let it warm up just a tad bit before I started it up again uh, it is leaking something let's check it out and it looks like coolant we have to get in here and check it out check the valves again let's see where is it leaking from oh I don't know if you guys can see that it's here. it looks like it's leaking from right there there's a bolt that I had already tied right there somewhere right on top of the starter bolt you could even see a little bit of green yep that's where it's leaking alright damn it's really jacked up under here we need a different tire setup uh, that's for damn sure I already had lined up um, some tires though I get tomorrow a.m. some wait a minute what were they okay they're 30s but they're 30 by 9 by 14 and the ones that are on here right now are all 30 by 10 by or yeah 30 by 10 by 14 yeah so we're gonna have one less inch up front which is perfect it's gonna be better but I don't think she drove that good for the first run brakes still need work um, the tires were rubbing pretty bad actually I didn't check if it was this side I think it was mainly the other side though yeah that's what it sounded like because this side when I backed up I don't know if you guys heard it was like Durr, rah, rah. I might try to hit here again and then here
that you guys here it is as the side by side sits um, one thing that we did is we changed out the front tires to 29 by 9 by 14 the backs are still 30 by 10 by 14 we're gonna be swapping those out tomorrow probably but as the update you guys everything is in she runs I uh, will be taking it out on a test drive tomorrow also. So now that we changed the 29 inch tires, they don't rub. Um, we got the lights working. We got the front seat in. We got the seat belt issue fixed. We got the center console. We got a brand new mirror put in. A uh, Maverick mirror. It was like 20 bucks. Um, the tires, I ended up picking up only three of them for... 40 bucks uh, with decent tread on them still uh, I'm gonna pick up an extra one tomorrow so I could swap out the backs and yeah you guys but it's mainly almost complete I'm still deciding if I want to redo the plastics or what to do exactly but it looks way better from when we got it um, so just real quick rundown on everything we did with it real fast um, so new pistons new rings new uh uh bearings uh valve clearance is good now we redid that i took that all apart i didn't need to make a video about that um we got new wheels we're gonna have new tires we have a lift kit two inch lift kit well uh, we redid everything mostly bed linered um the front bumper the rack all of the under the center here and also uh, we did the back so last thing I need to do you guys is just fix the brake lights and that's probably what we're gonna get into today so we finally put the new tail lights on went with the smoked black look um, did a whole bunch of rewiring you guys I figured out the mess under here let me brighten it up I figured out the mess over here I redid all these and then there was a break in between here which was causing that side not to work also and then I think there was something off over here also but basically I just have this open I probably should I'm gonna tape that up here uh, but put zip ties on everything got it away from the exhaust everything looks good now they're all plugged up and I tested it all out it does work so we got the lights working both of them work now got that fixed We'll figure that out. I'll see if it sells. If it doesn't sell, then we might just take a little bit of lower offer or take it down and then repaint it. And yeah, we'll redo everything. Also, I was thinking about the seats because of the ribs. I might look for some seats today. We'll figure that out also. But yeah, we're getting there, you guys. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully you guys liked how it came out everything looks way better it's pretty much almost there next video we will be um, going for a test drive it's already pretty late today but we'll go on a test drive and we'll you know see how she runs she sounds better let's hope that when she actually is running and driving she'll definitely feel a lot better also so stay tuned you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys peace